<laughs> What's up guys, I'm Mike. And this is the Great Outside Channel. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing. I'm um, out here on day number three. I'm um, getting ready to pack up and I thought now would be a good time to shoot this video. Uh, this video is a review on the Wise Owl Flare Under Quilt. Budget item as almost always on this channel. Now, my initial experience was very good. I pulled it out of the bag the first time. I thought it looked really small. I use an 11 foot hammock primarily. I have a nine and a half foot and it's it's not necessarily because it's short. I just am very uncomfortable in that particular hammock. So I thought that I might have an issue um, with this particular under quilt. And um, it, it is very nice. I am really enjoying it. So it is completely worth doing a video on. So let me explain my experience real quick and then we're gonna go through and look at the whole thing. Um, I had taken it to the park off and on with my daughter. She likes to go. She thinks it's hilarious that we go and set up the hammock and, you know, make hot chocolate and whatnot when it was cold. Um, it's still, it's, it's mid-March, so we're coming out of uh, winter. And it kept me nice and warm every time we were in it, but that really wasn't a good test. Now, last night it was 38, and the night before it was 55. So I got the perfect test in here because this is a 45 degree rated underquilt. So let's go into that. Night before last, uh, I was so comfortable in this, 55 degrees, so comfortable that I barely slept with my sleeping bag on top of me. Uh, and I do have a top cover. And I sat in here completely comfortable. It was no problem whatsoever. Now last night, I got a little chilly. Not bad. I mean, really not bad. It's 38 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's 7 degrees um, below the rating. And it was not bad. I took two packs of hot hands, and instead of sticking them in my sleeping bag, that would have been too much, actually. I just threw them down there and uh, I could just adjust them back and forth uh, and that worked better than I needed it to. I was actually a little warm after that and uh, this thing works great. It does exactly what I want and I found a winner. Um, yes. Cha-ching. Hat cam activate. All right comes in this stuff sack it's really thin lightweight material uh, I will let you know what the total weight is before the end of the video got my sleeping bag in there to make it look like I know what I'm doing all the time all right oops left those in there last night still a little warm Spread it out. Now the material inside, obviously, it's like a polyfill. It's uh, you know, synthetic, and it's held in there by these strips. The seam is one of these style seams right here, and it feels cheap at first, but it's really not. I mean, it is technically. So it comes with these and this is where things get a little weird because these are really high quality these are so much better than my last one and the design you know is the v design which to me is the winner this really tucks it up and makes it nice so you just put these together and clip it on gotta get it in there get it on in there bam do the opposite side. Watch out, Breeze Bear. Good girl. All right. Now you notice 
boink, a little bit tight. And this actually isn't gonna help that any. And the reason is because of how short the total length of the shock cord is. Uh, it can only really be adjusted in because the adjustments come out this way. But something that I do like, you can see that even taut like a guitar string, this, well, maybe not quite that taut, but pretty taut, this thing's still holding. My last one, these clips did not hold and it would just come undone as soon as I sat in there and I'm only 180 pounds. Uh, so my solution to that problem was this right here. I just grabbed a couple extra carabiners and since I use this system and I don't have you know one of the fancy ones because this is a budget channel yay at least I do all this research so you don't have to see what I mean all right so that lowered it right where we want it just do the other side good girl she's guarding there's people over there there's dirty hikers they're gonna come and do something crazy just gotta watch them flip this out put this in and now check this out okay this is easy enough and you're good to chill okay so the thing is when you're in here if you leave the d-rings off you can slide this around and get it right in here now it kind of goes boat like when you go and let these loose which is what they're for so now you can see that and then kablamo and these stay really well and if you want to use the d-rings which you, when you're sleeping i totally suggest see this is a long hammock but once you bring it down and get it in the d-ring here it makes it so that it hugs oh so nicely make sure I got a little bit of room underneath which I do I've got about that much I promised you the stats but I don't have signal so you just gotta wait a second Please. all right I got it four foot by eight foot <clears throat> 40 degree rating better than I thought and I really do attest to that it's about that that's real close which is rare uh, real rare and it weighs 2.38 pounds. If you found this video useful in any way, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one, or if you like adventure videos, or if you're just awesome and wanna help me out. It's great out here. Go outside, it's great. You won't regret it.